well, I think everybody's kind of turning the same way. Um, yeah. So, yeah, uh, you know, I'm not going to talk in abstracts. Uh, you can only have one gun. Like, you get out of jail, you dig yourself out of a hole, it's post-apocalypse, whatever, you get a Glock 19. There is only one... There is only one defining handgun on this planet, and it's Glock 19. You get one of those first, because it can do duty gun shit well, and you can still conceal it. Everybody, and I'm gonna have a thousand people on the internet tell me, fucking blah 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 XD fucking whatever, fucking go fuck yourself. There's only one gun on the planet that all other guns are defined upon. And it's a Glock 19. So you get one of those first. So that it's now your carry gun, and you can actually use it as a duty gun if you have to. Second purchase on assault rifle. With fucking all fucking accoutrement. Red dot, fucking white, whatever. Why an assault rifle? Because you need to be able to assault shit. Like, as an American, as a person, uh, you have to understand where we are at right now uh, in uh, reference to our society. Um, that gun is going to fucking mean the survival or extinction of your family group as soon as the lights go out. Like, that is the defining characteristic of your ability to survive and thrive in the next phase of whatever our social order is. And it's coming quickly. So, you need an assault rifle. You want it to be a battle rifle? Okay. Be a badass. Carry twice as much ammo, they cost twice as much, and weighs twice as much. That's all you. But, you need an assault rifle. Gun 3, redundant to gun 1. Exactly what Chuck said. Exactly what Kyle said. So if I'm carrying a 19, gun 2 is going to be a 1734. I can use it as a duty weapon. I can fucking back up uh, my everyday carry. I can compete with it. I can do other shit with it. Gun 4, subcompact club. 43, 42, yeah, that, like in 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 short order, but like I've I've said, maybe others haven't heard it on podcast. My gun safe stopped looking like a collection a few years ago when I realized where we're going. I don't have. CZ, Glock, Revolver, fucking Beretta, fucking Sig, fucking one of everything. Fuck that. My fucking gun safe looks like an arms room. Glock, 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 Glock. AR, 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 AR. My fucking gun safe is ready to fucking dish out guns to get it the fuck on. It is not a collection. It is a fucking assembly of weapons that are going to be used shortly. So, I don't need to have a J-Frame. I don't need to have a Beretta. I don't need to have a CZ. I don't need to have a fucking, oh, is the 320 better than... I don't give a fuck the 320 is better than whatever. I got 20 fucking Glocks with spare parts. Because I can shoot a fucking Glock. I can teach others to shoot a Glock. And all my Glocks are going to have interoperability of parts. So, yeah. My 65 case gun safe is full of a lot of the same shit. For the military side of the house, the first thing I would recommend is a rifle patterned after what you're issued. Back when I was a leader, we used to have counseling statements that basically outlined that fact. If it were up to me, when you go through basic training, when you're not spending any money because you're going through boot camp, that money would go towards a Colt 6920, an aim point, a sling. And that would be issued to you until the United States Army gets its head out of its ass 
and issues you a weapon system you carry from one duty station to another throughout your career. So as you progress in skill level, you could just swap the upper receiver for a different setup. Let's say you spend two years, you're a pretty decent rifleman. So you're ready to progress to become an enhanced rifleman or a designated marksman. You can still go with a 16 inch barrel, but now you have a different optic, a one to six variable power, or one to eight, or even just the TA 11 ACOG if that's what your unit's issued. And the same thing for handguns. If you look at it against all enemies, foreign and domestic, if you're not carrying a handgun to protect yourself and others off duty, you're wrong. So while it would be value added to have the same weapon system you're issued, in this case an M9, that's very not conducive to concealed carry. And the same thing in regards to what Kyle talked about earlier, in regards to everyday carry for medical. Have an IFAC on your person, both in duty uniform and out. Have the training to be able to use that effectively and ensure you carry it. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty much been covered, but, you know, I, I'm not, um, you know, as, as Roland kind of talked about, like, yeah, I'm not really a, a huge gun guy, you know, and, and I'll say that sometimes. Uh, people are like, dude, you got, you got a lot of ARs and stuff, I'm like, yeah. But you don't see, you know, tons of different types of, of, of guns. Um, I just, I, it doesn't really interest me. I'm, I'm more about the, the use of the tools, you know. The, the actual training and then learning how to how to use them. So you know, I, I've got I don't know, maybe a bunch of ARs, I don't say how many, but a bunch of ARs, and uh, and you know, some blocks and a couple MMPs that I've shot about one magazine uh, combined in the last five years because I was on shoot. Um, and you know, I I learned how to to shoot these and. and you know, there's a lot of interoperability between, you know, when you just run a box or whatever, or you're an MFP guy or whatever, that's, I don't give a shit. But, you know, I don't have a bunch of different uh, types of guns, but, uh, but, you know, like you said, you know, like Roland talked about, you know, a Glock 19 uh, is a great, you know, for facility for your use if, you know, if you fire guns, fire shit guns don't like, you know, somebody here. And, uh, or whatever, you know, you're just getting into it, um, you know, uh, Glock 19, and that way you can actually start training with it, learning how to use it, and you can carry it, and, uh, and then if you want to get, you know, 17 or 34 after that, because you want to start, you know, you want to use that for training, or that be your actual training gun, so that way you're not abusing the crap, you know, out of your, your carry gun or whatever, all the time, uh, so often. Uh, and you know, so be it. Yeah, I mean, it, it is pretty much already been covered. Uh, that much there. Cool. And I already, I can answer for Buck. I know he all, he uh, is all about the you go underfolders, and that's all. I hate you. I hate you all. No, I, uh, like uh, something Chuck mentioned. Like you know, obviously, due to where I live. Um, a real consideration uh, for personal protection is a shotgun or a rifle of a caliber large enough to stop a grizzly bear, wolves, or mountain lions. Um, I've had two run-ins with grizzlies here, uh, one, uh, two on my property, and another one out in the woods. Uh, first time I was armed with an eight-pound splitting maul and a Glock 19, and uh, was not where I wanted to be when, J when the baby Jesus came back. So, uh, yeah, um, as far as, like, priorities of purchasing that kind of stuff, I agree with everybody else, man. Um, a uh, Glock 19 or another pistol. Um, and then, based on where I live, if I was giving advice to someone here, I would recommend that they get a 12-gauge pump shotgun, 870 or, you know, Mossberg 500 or something. Uh, anywhere else, yeah, carbine, and then, uh, you know, fully tricked out and training, so. 
stay away from you going under forwards. That's right. Hurt. <laughs> and before we, I don't know if we're close to wrapping up, but uh, the KD4 had something to say to Ash Hess. I know he's listening. Oh, <laughs> well, thanks for uh, putting me on the uh, on the primary and secondary thing. How how close are you to your destination? I am uh, basically here, and I need to get some food because I've been driving for about, oh, 14 hours. Oh, wow. That sucks. But, yeah, it was, uh, I, can't, I can't think of a better way to spend time. No, this, it, this worked out really well. Great conversation. Um, there have been several questions on the Facebook group. How is this going to be taken care of? This uh, this is going to stay intact. I'm just going to keep it open, and then I'm going to edit it, and the intact portion is going to remain, and then uh, I'll have uh, clips that will also be added. But if you guys watch this, you'll already know the, what the, what's contained in the clips. But yeah, Kyle, thanks for thanks for joining. This was uh, this was a good show. Not only that, but. Thanks for helping with that marksmanship manual, too. That's going to affect a lot of positive change in the Army. Oh, yeah, my pleasure, man. Well, I'll thank all you guys for having me, and uh, good to uh, talk to Roland again. Been a few years, and, uh, yeah, thank all you guys, man. I appreciate it. Anytime you want to jump on, let me know. I think we just ran over each other. I'm sorry. Have a go in D4. Yeah, man. We'll see you. Yeah, buddy. So, yeah, Kyle, anytime you want to jump on, let me know. And then we're not doing these as frequently as we used to. All right, yeah, will do. Hey, I appreciate it again, man. Uh, cool. Thank all you guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sign off. Sounds good. Thanks again. All right, sure. see you. So what do you guys want to talk about now? We can keep on going. We can we can end it. We can end it and start a new one. It's up to you. Hookers. Hair gel. No, he he doesn't do the hair gel. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> so Roland votes for hookers. You know, it's not my vote. I'm just <laughs> I'm just chairing it. Like I, I submit to you, hookers. Oh, okay. You on it. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so what I'm going to do then is I'm going to I'm going to cut this one, um, and then we can just start up a new one. Do you guys have anything you want to add? Anything to pimp? Anything to say? You ever seen a Shih Tzu eat uh, two thirds of a gopher? Because that just happened. I I saw a video of a, a Shih Tzu pulling a gopher away. Yeah. The little fucker sitting video. on the floor over here it looks like he's about half dead. All right. Hey, so seriously, I'm like that guy that didn't give a shit when everything was going down, and now it's all of a sudden their issue, and they want to know, uh, do we have a primary and secondary duty belt thread anywhere? There might be one on the forum. I don't remember there being a dedicated one on Facebook. All right. I can't think of one. All right. Well, I gotta put a fucking duty belt together, and I'm, I know a little bit about it, a little bit, but uh, we should probably start a thread. Sound, I'll do that right now. Roland's duty belt, and uh, help like, Roland. Have people like submit like pouches and whatever's, and help Sergeant yeah. Roland. You need to have the gun. Uh, you need to have the handcuffs in front of your primary shit, and then like asp. Right side behind gun versus over the left for a cross draw snap, if you will, um, and you know a bunch of other police shit that I really don't fucking know fuck all about. Chuck, you should probably let me know about some fucking spritzer, whatever's the current good goodness. Well, I gotta so like rude. spritzer somebody for being a fucking dick face. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway. This is so we're gonna, so this we're gonna is, shut this one off and start a new one. Yeah. <laughs> this is go ahead. This is Officer Roland, Crash Course Sergeant Roland. 
hey, the sergeant is a perfunctionary title. I do not in any way, shape, or form associate that title with actual experience as an LEO. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this one um, okay. and then just restart a new one, just because this went really well. There's really nothing to edit out, and uh, yeah. So I will end this. Start Modcast 61 here shortly. Thanks for joining us. Uh, you can find us at primaryandsecondary.com. We do have a forum. You'll find it through Primary and Secondary. Um, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you spread the word. Uh, provide feedback. Hit some likes. You know, all that kind of good stuff because we appreciate it. And uh, that helps us figure out what we need to do and what we need to improve on. All right. I will talk to you guys shortly. <laughs>